although there are particular complexities to um any political position and they're often somewhat contradictory and it's a good idea to avoid the most simplistic forms of any political position. I find it very odd that a man who describes himself as a Zionist would start describing Dachau thus. The Dachau concentration camp in Germany, by the way, was roughly similar to the labour camps in Britain to Germany to begin with. Dachau certainly wasn't a place where people were killed. It was a place where people went to live for a while in a fairly rigorous conditions. And the idea was after a spell in the camp at Dachau, they were able to pull themselves together and get jobs. Um, yes, a, a quick a quick burst on the YTS training scheme there down in, in 1930s Germany under the Reich, would seem. Um, <laughs> truly ludicrous stuff. Dachau was a political prisoner camp from day one. Here is a news report from a newspaper of the day and I've tra and translated into English. On Wednesday, the first concentration camp is to be open in Dachau with an accommodation for 5,000 people. All communists and, when necessary, Reichsbahn and social democratic functionaries who endanger state security are to be concentrated here, as in the long run, it is not possible to keep individual functionaries in the state prisons without over burdening these prisons. And on the other hand, these people cannot be released because attempts have shown that they persist in their efforts to agitate and organise as soon as they are released. I do find it very strange to claim you're a socialist and to start characterising Dachau as purely a labour camp, as in the model used by FDR for camps in America or the British Labour camps in the UK. There are some very significant differences. If anyone thinks I'm making up that newspaper article, this is a PDF of the of the newspaper article of the day. Now, I intend to return to this at some great length, and I'm going to try and find a link to that original newspaper article, because coming so soon after Holocaust Memorial Day, that's a pretty foul claim and a pretty bizarre one. <sighs> Absolutely strange and bizarre stuff to come out with. I've, I'm at a loss for words for it.